Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Cedar Creek 377BH 5th well. It's been a couple years since I've done an update on this one so we're going to run right through it, show you what it's all about here, check it out. All right, we're up inside the brand new 2023 Cedar Creek 377 BH fifth wheel here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up there a few seconds ago, this is a rear living room mid bunk fifth wheel with a loft. We're going to start in the back section here and then we'll kind of work our way forward. So on the door side or awning side of the RV, you have a large super slide. This has your table and chairs in it. So there are two traditional chairs and then there are two fold-up chairs that are currently stored out of the way. There's an extension on the end of that table. You have really large tented safety glass windows. All those windows over there do open. For the blinds down here in the living room area, you have a day shade and you also have a night shade. Now this particular one was ordered with the four camera safety system. So it has a seven inch screen that came with it and a camera going down each side, one above your entry door and one above the back, allowing you to see what's going on. That's a nice option to add. Now this is standard. This is the TST tire pressure monitoring system. Really nice safety feature to consider adding. This is the 507 series color display. USB charger port and some light switches there in the middle. The slide floor has that woven material they use on pontoon boats instead of carpet in that section. The main subfloor down here is all vinyl. New for the 2023 is going to be color changes. So the wood changed, the countertops and stuff changed, um, your wallboards changed. For those of you that have already seen my previous Cedar Creek videos, uh, you kind of notice a pretty good difference. You also have some decorative pendant lighting up above, high rise spring sprayer faucet, 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. They're currently using Coleman ducted ACs. You have some overhead cabinet space. You also have a large freestanding sofa back here that will flip out and make into a bed for a couple adults to sleep on. You have the Thomas Paine furniture collection that they're currently using. This one over here is a power theater seat with some cup holders in the middle, USB charger port on each arm, and a little bit of storage in the middle as well. Now directly across from your theater seat is going to be your large TV here. You have a little shelf space above that, or I'm sorry, below that. And then your electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space here. Now this new version actually swings open. So you have a large Murphy pantry back here. So there's a little bit of shelf space on the back of the swinging door. Electric outlets there in case you need to plug something in. Access maintenance panel down here. And then there are electric outlets on the bottom shelf here. Your satellite inlet and your cable and TV antenna inlets there. That little green light has a push button to turn that on and off. And then you have another electric outlet up top. Does have a little travel latch that you're supposed to latch in place when you are traveling. And it also has a pretty strong magnet on it as well. It's a really nice, clean, bright look. Currently using the Greystone oven. It has the big oven with the glass front. It has a light in it. Four burner cooktop. Some drawer space. Electric outlets on each side of the oven there. Some cabinet space currently using an LG microwave. Um, I believe they're talking about changing appliances, so don't be surprised if you see them with something different in the coming future. They are obviously like everybody else, just dealing with supply chain issues and everything. 
Up top, there is a large turbo exhaust fan. You have that kind of sliding barn door look here. Down here, you have a little bunk area if you want to use it for a bed area, not really a bunk area. Uh, but you have a little bed area, so this sofa will flip out and make into a bed, so you could sleep two people here. Uh, again, that woven material on this slide. And then you also have some drawer space and cabinet space down here. But if you don't have kids, this even acts as kind of a little office area or just a separate little sitting room uh, that you could you know, kind of have your own little TV area. I'm going up the hallway area here, and the bottom step you have your dustpan and central vac. There's an electric box with some breakers and fuses, a propane leak detector down there, control for the turbo exhaust fan, ceiling fan switch, you have a temperature sensor here for one of the ACs, your Firefly on demand uh, system here as far as you can kill basically every light in the RV except for I think a couple 110 volt ones. Uh, water pump, 12 volt tank heaters, battery meter, your, one of your ACs is on this part and you just hit the button go into HVAC control the other one. Uh, two ACs is a pretty popular way that most people order it but you could also do a third bunch of individual light switches as well in here um, slide controls awning controls and you can go in and kind of do some of your setup of this if you want 30 amp solar charge controller here the unit has a 200 watt go power solar system on it already standard they do have a few upgraded optional solar packages that you can get uh, so if you are more of an off-the-grid type of person, talk with your salesperson about that if that interests you. Another turbo exhaust fan up there, electric outlet. There's a couple of them on the wall back there and TV hookups over there as well. And also you'll find a few of these little soft touch buttons for some lights. The ones with the up and down arrows are dimmable. Window here in the hallway does open bathroom area here so kind of starting from the bottom up here there is a heat duct in the floor you do have a porcelain foot flush toilet there is quite a bit of linen space here it's probably hard to see in the camera but a decent amount of space all the way down through there One piece fiberglass shower has the sliding glass doors, sit down seat, you have skylight up above, AC duct in there, solid surface countertop here, some more storage, a little accent lighting, and a sliding door for privacy. It's kind of nice, you don't have to come out of the bedroom at night and have to sleep and worry about which direction the door swings, it just slides back and forth. Up here you have a camper king bed. You can also order them with queen beds if you prefer. It gives you a few more inches of walkway around the bed. Uh, but you have a window on each side, electric outlet, USB charger port on each side. Uh, also those windows do open. And they are nightshades up here in the bedroom area. Little end tables up above those windows as well. The bed again does raise up, so there's some storage under there. Now this customer chose to do the uh, rebond carpet padding up here in the bedroom area a lot of people seem to like to do that in the bedroom but the standard is vinyl floor up here so if you like the carpet make sure you order it that way if you don't and you like vinyl get it that way either way TV area over there you also have window that does open electric outlet right here and then you have kind of a little hidden space here this was also ordered with the bedroom wall heater. This is a nice little option, basically just an electric space heater built into the RV. Washer dryer setup, if you want to do the washer dryer setup, the washer dryer hookups and everything is standard. You can order it from the factory with a washer dryer or do it aftermarket either way. Now, if you do it 
this bottom shelf section right here comes undone and it sits side by side right there. You can somewhat see it. Yep, light didn't help at all. You can somewhat see it right there. Closet bar goes all the way across, so you're looking at roughly, I'd say close to seven foot, eight inch long closet bar. The King Wi-Fi prepping and stuff there. Some more shelf space. But a pretty good sized closet goes almost all the way across the whole RV here. Another Coleman AC up top there. The Cedar Creek does a really nice construction video as well. I would recommend checking out your aluminum studded sidewalls, aluminum studded floor, and aluminum studded roof. This is a hung cage setup. Um, so it's not a glued together laminated RV like your typical fast production style RVs. Uh, so definitely a really nice construction video to check out on their website. Would recommend that for sure. Plywood floors, walk on roof, um, you know, just more of that higher end, upper class kind of thing where you could do a little more extended stay stuff if you wanted to. All right, we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Cedar Creek 377BH model here. We're going to start here on the door side, work our way around. So first things up, we have an kind of an off-white fiberglass exterior. Again, this is a hung fiberglass exterior, not a glued together laminated system. Uh, you have a lower, almost black metal skirting around the bottom. You have the deep tent safety glass frameless look window on the RV. You do have an option for dual pane windows if you're more of an extended stay person. Power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, and manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Um, this customer wanted their unit prepped for a dryer vent, but not actually do the washer dryer. So they are going to do that themselves with some other brand they found. But that cap, that black little square right there, is the dryer vent. And that's kind of where they recommend on this model it goes if you do that. Again, this is also ordered with that four camera system. So you have a camera down this side and one on the other side. Then there is another one above the entry door and one on the back. You'll see when we get back there. Little pet friendly leash latch holder right there. You have two 30 pound propane tanks here. Gas line down here so you could plug in a portable grill. Here is your front hydraulic landing gear. This has a six point automatic leveling jack system. Again, it's hydraulic. So it's a little bit stronger, faster, more reliable than the electric system. So you got two in the front, two just in front of your axles and two behind. You'll see as we walk around here. This has a drop Z frame. So that's what gives you some extra height here for your storage area. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing up there as well. There's an electric outlet in here, a light in here, and cable outlet as well. Kind of that rubber mat looking diamond plate floor. Thicker baggage doors for the storage area. Metal slam locks instead of the plastic ones. You have electric outlet and cold water spray port right here. In that box in the storage compartment was a suburban griddle that comes with it. And it sits up here on this mount. And you have a little 110 volt mini fridge. So you can kind of do some cooking outside here if you want. A little bit wider entry door. It's a 32 inch wide entry door instead of a 30 or 28 like a lot of brands have. Traditional RV entry door and screen door though. It does have a little peephole in it. There is the more ride entry step here with shock assist. That is a nice feature. It makes it easier to flip in and out. But this type of step is rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover style step is only rated for 300 pounds. And it has adjustable feet as well. Doesn't rock and shake the camper as bad when you're running in and out. You also have the large folding entry handle there. Just above the entry door is going to be a porch light up there. And again, if you do that for camera system, you get the camera up there. 
tire pressure monitoring system, you will see that mentioned. Again, we showed you that when we were inside. Um, Dexter never adjusts brakes. You also have the road armor center point suspension there in the middle. Aluminum wheels, uh, drum brakes standard. You can opt in for a champagne package, which is a really nice fancy package that'll actually give you disc brakes as well if you wanted to. The back hydraulic levelers and then the spare tire underneath the bottom down there. Now another thing this customer did as a nice option is they added the slide out awning covers over top of the slides. So those basically roll in and out with the slide and they help shed away a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, and also kind of shade the room just helping keep it a little bit cooler. Traditional flat back rear end, it does have a two inch hitch receiver on the back. That hitch receiver is not to tow a boat or anything like that. It is just there for like a luggage rack or a bike rack. It's not meant to tow anything with. Nice high lights as well. So you got lower lights and the middle lights and then obviously your running lights across the top. But it's really nice that they put those brake lights and stuff up a little bit so it is easier for people to see. You also have the backup camera on the back. If you do, you can do either a single camera or the four camera system or no cameras if you don't want, but that's what it looks like when you get that backup camera up there too. It is prepped up there, that little rectangle at the top left, that is prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go ladder. It's a portable ladder you can buy aftermarket and basically it telescopes in and out so you can throw it in the storage compartment when you're not using it. Don't have to worry about the kids climbing up and down and falling off and getting hurt. But it just attaches there when you do need to use it. Stove exhaust out right here as well. Now looking down below here real quick, you can see the ice maker on off valve right there. And it's a drain as well because this residential refrigerator, I forgot to mention when we were inside, does have an ice maker. Look at the shine on the side of that. They use a really nice high gloss gel coated fiberglass exterior here. Oh, I forgot to mention also midship turn signals, another nice important safety feature. Detachable 50 amp power cord that's probably about 30 feet or so long. You have your furnace exhaust and out right here, 12 gallon gas electric water heater, or you can do the Truma on demand water heater, uh, or a on demand water heater, depending on what brand they might be using at the time you buy it. There is a docking station right here. So you have your galley, bath, and black tank handles all up here, nice and easy to access and get to individual on off for the slide outs front cap lights hot and cold outside utility shower we have cable inlets and satellite inlets hook your water hose up and then direct the water where you want it to go right here black tank flush as well low point water drains nice and easy to get to right here as well and again if you are a cold weather camper it's nice they terminate these up here instead of hanging out the bottom where they are more likely to freeze so that's a little nicer. A powered power cord reel right there. And then right here is where you actually hook up your dump hose. Swing door on this side so you don't have to worry about it getting caught up in the bedroom slide when you're closing it and opening it. Behind here is basically your kind of utility area. So you got some batteries down here. Uh, you'll also have your hydraulic pump right there. To manually override it, you need a little bit that you stick in right here. Um, there's instructions that kind of go over that, but that's where you manually override it in case of a failure. Auto level jacks or just getting it on and off the truck area right here. Right now it's telling me I didn't put the jacks down, but I'm not exactly level either. So need to put those down when you are setting up all the way. Here we have our dry weight sticker, 12,762 pounds. Also has the length on it, 42 feet, five inches. Production date, uh, we have the axle sizes, two 7,000 pound axles, 
Plus, remember, you're going to have hitch weight or uh, pen weight, they refer to it as sometimes. So all the weight doesn't sit on the axles. A lot of weight is sitting on these jacks or on your truck. Uh, these things are not balanced out like a car kind of scenario. Uh, so then you have a gross weight of 16,135. So gross weight 16,135 and a dry weight of 12,762 on this particular unit. 23585 R16G range tires, 110 PSI cold. Very, very important to make sure you keep up with your tire pressure. And it's a little easier to do when you have that tire pressure monitoring system that's on here as well. Up there in the uh, top center piece, there's a, another light up there as well. Pretty large storage compartment area down here. And there's a little access panel to the back, like the hydraulic pump and stuff there as well. Now you can also order these with generators and that would go in that compartment as well. Stepping on back here, looking at this front cap, nice heavy duty fiberglass front cap, three LED light strips built in as well. Really kind of brightens it up at night if you're trying to hook up or, you know, just kind of relocate your camper when you're out uh, coming back area. Here we have the Rhino Box. This is um, basically very important to remember that they are currently using the Rhino Box if you're going to get a Kurt Air Ride or say a uh, Moore Ride Pen Box or a changeover to a Goose Box or something. It has to be able to bolt up to the Rhino Pen Box right now. Uh, if you don't do that, then when you try to hook everything up, the bolt patterns and stuff will not line up properly. All right, folks, thanks a bunch for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in keeping up with more of these RV videos, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, again, to hit that uh, notification icon to be notified when I throw out some more videos. Thanks again.